Yo, what is going on, guys? Matthew Behans here, aka the Clockmaster. So, a lot of crazy stuff happened over the weekend, guys. Long story short, I just didn't have the time to do it. There's been so much stuff going on with me personally, too. So, I just didn't, I just didn't get a chance to do. Oh crap! Wow. So yeah, so that's why you're getting this two days late, but better late than never. So we're gonna be checking out the Disney Plus. The Mandalorian official trailer. There's a bunch of news on Disney Plus. I'm not gonna have time to record my my thoughts and all the Disney Plus news today. So you guys are gonna expect a video about that tomorrow. But the Mandalorian uh, was announced. That they released a poster and they released a trailer. I'm excited to check this out. So let's just watch this thing. Let's do a little reaction and my thoughts on it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oof. Bounty Hunter season. Wait, can we first of all just, just like think about this? I just had to remember this is going to be a show. This is not, <laughs> not even going to be a movie. This is a show and it, it looks really good. All right. Hmm. I like the music for the trailer. I like the landscape. Woof. Wow. Woo. Bounty hunting is a complicated profession. Ooh. Ooh. Do you agree? Ooh. All right. I can't believe this is going to be a series, guys. The production quality on this is top notch. Okay, I like how this is looking. Whoa. First of all, great trailer music. Whoever made that is on point. I'm really liking that trailer music. Um, someone says in the comments, hopefully it's as dark as they portrayed here. Yeah, that'd be cool to see. Um, yeah, man, this looks like it's, this looks like it's going to be really good, man. I mean, this is Disney producing this. They're putting everything they have right now into disney plus trying to make it uh, you know come out to be as successful um you know with the pixar and all that stuff again so much news release all i know is that in november i'm already gonna get i'm purchasing disney plus i'm getting it i did, love it or hate disney there's a lot of things that i love about you know about what the company has produced and of course i want to see it you know uh, some people some people are staying away from it out of protest you know, but that's up to you, man. You do what you what you want to do. But I'm liking what this is looking like so far, man. I like the trailer, I like the feel. Let's watch it again. First of all, look at these. Look at look at these helmets. Look at these stormtrooper helmets, man. It's nice to see this this side of of you know of of Star Wars, this side of the world, man. This it's really cool. This looks like a full-fledged movie. On, so I keep pausing. How many episodes is it gonna be? It's gonna be. Um, I know they probably talked about it, but I didn't. I didn't see anything about it. Love this shot right here.
bounty hunting is a complicated profession. Hmm, this shot. Oh God, this shot. Don't you agree? We already know we saw that carbon freeze in um in Empire Strikes Back, so that's a nice little touch there. Like the, just like the art, man. I'm moving how everything looks. Yeah, man, this is looking real nice, man. This is looking real good. I'm excited for it. What what much more can I say? This looks really awesome. So if you guys enjoy my reaction to this, let me know your thoughts down below on this. Uh, like I said, it's, it's not much more I can say about it personally, but I just love how it's looking of the art style. I love the how it's filmed. It looks like a full-fledged movie. So we're getting like movie quality TV shows. Um, and you're finding that more and more now, in this, especially in this day and age, like 2019 going forward. Like we've been getting a lot of like movie quality shows. Obviously, you get that with um, on HBO with uh, shows like Euphoria, Game of Thrones, uh, Westworld, uh, Chernobyl, and all those other shows that come out there. You get movie quality type shows, which is really cool. You see that on Stars with Outlander and a couple of other shows they have on Stars. Um, uh, the Spanish Princess. I can go on and on. There's just so many shows. Vikings on the History Channel. So it's just so much. It's just this is like the future. Like like a lot of these shows are not just looking like movies right now, and I really like that. That's really cool. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you in the next one, man. Clockmaster out.